for instance, my job to keep the party going. The party did keep going. So, um, for how long was it? Six well, weeks? For, for nine days, I was there. It was nine days longer than Jesus lasted in the wilderness. He didn't have to put up with Liz Truss. What kind of meat is it? Pork, pork, and more pork. Excellent. So it's pork pie with black pudding, which is pig congealed pig's blood and pig's flat. Fat. Yeah, I think it is. And cheese, which is not pork. So it's pork and pork and cheese. Yeah, it's very good for Tell you. Me, it's a high quality dip. <laughs> oh, I've started laughing now. You said intervention from Liz Truss should be like sex in a long term happy marriage. Infrequent, but gleefully anticipated. Yeah, absolutely. Do you stay, stand by that. Mm. Well done. Do you think one of the reasons people have turned off politics is because of Liz Truss's mini budget? Yeah, well. Obviously, you supported Liz Truss. Do you yeah, regret I that? No, I don't. I, I mean, I was a party chairman, so it's my job to keep the party going. The party did keep going. So, um, for how long was it? Six well, weeks? For, for nine days, I was there. It was nine days longer than Jesus lasted in the wilderness. He didn't have to put up with Liz Truss. Have you read her book, Ten Years to Save the West? No, I haven't. I wonder if it's dedicated to you. I don't know. I, my, my main thing I read are Land Rover magazines. Is, really? Yeah. How, of, how many titles are there about Land Rover? Oh, there's Land Rover Owner, there's Land Rover Weekly. I think Land Rover Owner is online only now. It's the future. So every, every, look, everyone needs a hobby. Yeah, my yours hobby, is Land Rover. My, my hobby is repairing old vehicles. Oh! So I, um, I, 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 if I'm not doing politics, basically, I'm either drinking, which I'm quite fond of, going to the We're pub. We're going to talk about that, yeah. Oh, Do you think this country is too woke? Um, look, I, first of all, what does woke actually well, mean? Well, that was define, my next question. You woke define it for me because you say it quite a lot. Um, <sighs> woke means people who abhor discrimination, I think, is the dictionary definition of it. Yeah. Um, social justice. I did, I, is it social justice? Yeah, I, it, awake to social injustice and want to campaign. Okay, to okay so. Yeah. Sounds quite good, I think. Yeah, exactly. So, by that definition, no one, no one can be too wet because we should all want social justice. I just think it's become a um, a movement that is linked to a political ideology, but it also becomes um, an opportunity for lots of people to be outraged on behalf of lots of people who are not outraged. A really good example I can give you is. I was shopping in Tesco's in Haslam just up the road and a trans woman came over and spoke to me and said, uh, you know, I just wish that you would stop talking about trans issues in Parliament. I was like, well, why? And she mm. said, well, it makes it really hard to live my life. She was in her mid-50s. She's lived as a, a woman. She's been a woman for you know, 20, 30 years. She said, I've always lived in this community. Everyone has accepted me. I've just gone about my, my life. I just, you know, my life is my life. The fact that I'm a trans woman has nothing to do with the person mm. I am. And every time you talk about in Parliament, it makes my life harder. So I think, I think I, as an ideology, it's been weaponized. And when I say I think things are too woke, I think it's that weaponization of the ideology, which just makes it really hard for people just to get on with life. We should just believe in a society where no one is discriminated mm. against. Yeah. Regardless of their life choice. As long as it doesn't harm me, I believe in freedom. Yeah. As long as it doesn't harm me or harm society or harm others in society, you know, live the life that you want to live. Yeah. That is about being free. And if we only live in a country where the government, you know, the only things we are free to do is the stuff the government tells us we're free to do, you may as well live in Russia. Yeah. I think the woke agenda to some extent is about eroding the freedom of others. Mm. But the, the, the sort of the foundation of it, which is everyone should be treated equally and everyone should be treated with respect, of course I support that. There's a, you know, uh, I defy anyone not to support what that. What an ally you are. Not all right. That's perfect. You had a fun thing where you were doing one pint, one policy on social media, but you've only done two. No, 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 you haven't been on my Facebook. How do you feel about drinking on the job? Um, in some ways, I really, I really like beer. Yeah. And I really like politics. So what, what more could you want than combine the two? The reason I've done it, and it goes back to the sort of blandness of the national election campaign around, is there are lots of really interesting ideas out there. I think the idea of national service is really interesting. Would I you think. have done that when you were 18? Yeah, Would you have loved the government? Hundred percent. But I didn't think you liked big government, but them telling you how to spend sort of one weekend in four what, quite for one year? Yeah. For one year. It's quite so, so I would have done, if I'd have been able to, I would have done the military service. I would have loved to have done that. 
So there's two types of fun in the world, isn't there? There's type one fun, which is what we're doing now, which is just fun and great it's pleasure. And there's type two fun, which, is, like, fun. which yeah. is walking up a mountain and getting to the top and going, God, that was difficult, but look at the view or what a sense of achievement. I, I would put national service firmly in the type two fun bracket. Yeah, that's stretch. I think that people would get a lot out of it. I think they'd get huge life skills. And I also think the other thing about being British is Britain can't just be about what Britain gives us. It gives us a lot, we give, you know, the finest country in the world, relatively. What do you think is the second best country in the world? Oh, I don't know, that's a toughie, that's a toughie. Oh, come on, you're quite I, well I, I, well, I don't know, uh, maybe I, I don't know. Can it, you name it, any other countries? I can name lots of other countries. What's the second best country in the world? Um, yeah, Isle of Man, probably nice and local. <laughs> When was the last time you took drugs? Um, oh, you know, a very long time ago at university, I used to go to some great parties, but I mean, I don't know what's that. What drugs uh, were you taking? Well, I, I, do you know what? I think a, a, a gentleman would never tell. We can guess. Were you smoking these drugs? I'd say a gentleman would never tell. them? I don't know. No, no, no. I think it was, it was always, it was always, uh, it was always, Sat round, sat round in check. No, no. I don't know. Well, this it is always, people it was always speculate. sat round at parties. I, I am sure people have had me things that I've smoked but a very long time ago when I was at university. And no more. No. Do you think we should have a bit more of a grown-up conversation about drug use in this country? Yeah, I do actually. What would I you like to have happen? Um, I don't know, but I think it's undeniable that the war on drugs, such as it is, has. Uh, has, has failed, basically. I mean, I, I, I went to a race meeting recently and people were taking drugs, stood at the bar of a race meeting, snorting things and stood at the bar of a race meeting. I was just, I was completely shocked. They just seem to be everywhere now. Good? Quite happy. Very. Is Joe happy? No. No. Joe, are you happy? That was good. I mean, I wasn't expecting the drugs question. Yeah. The best one? No, it's good. He, he was quite mysterious, which means what? people will speculate now. Have any, have any politicians... What, like... Gove talks about it. Anthony, Anthony Magnall said he did. Yeah. Finish your pie. It's quite, in, quite, it's quite intense. <coughs> Very delicious, though. Pussy. 